if you're ever stuck along the interstate, you should not use your hiking gear and set up camp along the interstate. Apparently, that generates a lot of calls to Georgia 911. Okay, so just to give you an idea as to what's going on, I've got my foot on the gas pedal. The speed is falling over here. We are getting nothing out of the engine. Whatever momentum I have right now, I think is only coming from the electric system. At any rate, that's what's going on. My beloved Toyota Hybrid, which I absolutely love this car. It's got almost 300,000 miles on it. If the tow truck takes forever to get here, I've got my food, I've got my backpack, I've got a sleeping bag, I have my tent. So I can just like whoop, duck into the woods and um, I'll be fine. You may be wondering where the heck I'm at. I actually flew, thank you truck. I actually flew in from, from Atlanta. So this is actually taking place alongside the interstate in Georgia. I'm giving them a few more minutes and then if the tow truck doesn't show up, I'm pitching my tent by the interstate. Okay guys, um, a quick thing here. In case you're ever wanting to know, it's really hard to set up a tent along the interstate because there's like gravel underneath the grass and the dirt here. So um, probably not my best tent set up, uh, my best tent set up ever, but hey, it works, right? Apparently the Georgia police don't think this is very fun because they're coming that way and I'm carrying down my tent really, really fast. Okay, so after a fairly lengthy conversation, the Georgia Highway Patrol and I determined that there is no specific laws in Georgia that prohibit setting up a tent along the interstate. To that end, we're good. To the bad end, he thought it'd be fun to search my car. <laughs> oh my God. I did just hear from the tow truck though, and he's on his way. So I should have my tow here in a few. All right, this is Trevor Dan, I'm out, see y'all.